Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first of all, let's go to Shape Layers, hold this icon and choose Ellipse Tool. And let's create one ellipse like this. Clization Tool, go to Fill and use Airdropper for Choose Color and change color like this click ok and change name shadow left and go to fx presets search fx gaussian blur select gaussian blur use for shadow left let's zoom in here and change blurness let's see ok not bad soft shadow i like it and in this time, select shadow left, control D for duplicate and move to right and change name shadow right. So in this time, go to layer new and create null object. And for move to anchor point center, hold control and double click pen behind icon. Click station tool and move to here. Change name left and control d for duplicate move to right null object change name right so in this time select the shadow right and character right link to right null object select right null object let's see nice select character left and shadow left link to left null object select left null object okay so in this time select two null objects, press P and go to here. Let's create new person in keyframe and go to back. Select left null object, move to left. Select right null object, just move to right. Select keyframes and make it easy or click F9. And go to graph editor, select this last keyframe, move to left and let's preview animation. Okay, select first keyframe, move to left more. Let's move to right a little bit to right. Okay, back to keyframes and select this character left. Select head layer and go to anchor point, move the anchor point down. Clization tool and press R, open rotation. And I'm gonna use expression for rotate animation without any keyframes. Hold Alt click time icon and write wiggle 1 9. Click this empty item for down expression. Let's see. Okay, not bad. Back to main and let's see here. Okay, let's open character right and select head layer. Go to anchor point, move the anchor point down. Clization tool and select head layer, open rotation, hold alt, click time icon and write wiggle 110. Click this empty item for down expression. Okay, pretty good. And back to two frames, let's see. So as you can see here, head animations is sum 2 and let's back to business person 1. And let's double click for edit expression and go to here. Let's write minus for random head keyframe. Let's back to here. Let's see. Okay, pretty good. So in this time, select this character right and move the anchor point down. Clization tool and character left. Move the anchor point again down. Clization tool. And go to first second, let's press R and hold Alt, click time icon, right wiggle, one, six. Let's see. Let's select this character right, press R, hold Alt, click time icon, right wiggle, one, three. So I use this ways for create very fast animation movements. And let's close settings and let's go to shape layers hold this icon and select ellipse tool and let's create one ellipse like this let's move to here and go to pen tool 
and let's create one shape layer like this. Glissation tool, I will use the shape layer for bubble animation and go to anchor point, move the anchor point like this, glissation tool and put here, select shape layer 1, let's change name bubble, left and select this bubble left and move to right for now press S, change scale 0, create scale keyframe and go to 10 keyframes for shortcut you can use hold shift press page down in keyboard and change 110 go to 10 keyframe, change 95 again 10 keyframe, 105 and next keyframe, 100 and make it keyframes easy is select work area, preview animation ok, go to first second, hold shift press R and create rotation keyframe, chain rotation, minus 40 let's go to here, or let's write here 40, let's see ok, and change this minus 20 and next keyframe, change 10 and next keyframe, change minus 5 and next keyframe, change 0 and make it keyframes easy let's see okay and select rotation keyframes hold alt move to right for random keyframes okay pretty good and in this time select bubble let's right mouse and go to pre compass add name bubble left and click ok open compensation and go to select region of interest select region like this let's see let's move to left select this bubble and move to down and change region of interest let's preview again so select work area ok go to compensation and crop come to region of interest and back to main composition, let's move to here and link to character left move to right a little bit ok and let's control D for duplicate and let's move to right and right mouse go to here and flip horizontal and put here like this let's link to character right Ok, not bad, can move to here this bubble and this moved up let's go to shape layers, hold this icon and select ellipse tool and hold shift make one ellipse glissation to go to fill, select color to dark, click ok and let's move to here move right, press S, change scale 0, create scale keyframe, go to 10 keyframe, change 100 and make it easy and let's control D for duplicate, move to right and move to right this bubble, again control D move to right again ok, so select these layers, right mouse, pre compass, add name, dialog let's write D and click OK open compensation and select these layers move to the left ok and press U let's create again new scale keyframes go to here change 0 and select these keyframes move to right and this move to right so select work area and back to main compensation select this compensation D let's link to null object left and select this bubble left, let's change name right and select conversation dialog, let's link to left, let's see ok and control D for duplicate, move to here and move to right, let's link to bubble right so guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video, leave comments and have a good day. Good luck.